ladies and gentlemen, welcome back out here to the Tahitan series. And today we have quite the agenda to do. Uh, we have to finish up planting first off this morning. But before we can do any of that, we need to get some coffee in our system so we don't fall asleep. It's about 7 o'clock. And get the coffee here. So, yeah, like I said, it's about 7 o'clock. Um, I ended up getting everything down to 75.20. Um, now we just have to. Now we have to just fill it up with seed and uh, get some stuff like that done. So we're going to go ahead and grab the 7520 here and we're going to move it on over to the shop there and get filled up with seed. Well, I just got the 7520 parked and before we start throwing bags in this morning, uh, we need to unload the new tractor, the 4760 here. So I'm going to go ahead and catch you when we're backing off the tractor. Alright, well we just hopped up into the tractor. Um, as you can tell it has Starfire and all this stuff on it. It's a pretty actually decent tractor. So let's go ahead and back around off here. Um, this is going to be a very good uh, option for our farm here. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to take it on down the road here and pull it in through the other side of the farm just so I don't have to move everything out of the way. But um, So I think we're just going to park the 4760 right here and do some stuff like that. So anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and head over here and get the 7520 filled up with seed. And last one. So... Now we have the planter filled. I believe all we have to plant now is we have to finish up beans. Uh, we started, or we didn't start on beans. Uh, we finished corn last episode. But I think I'm going to go down and talk to the neighbor and see if he is done. And maybe he can help us out and I can pay him a little bit. So anyway, we're going to back this in the shed here just so, I can, just so I can move some stuff out of the way here. Looks like I got the planter into the door just a little bit. But we're just going to pull this on back in here. And I'm going to park this for a minute. And um, we'll go down to the neighbors and we'll talk to him and see if uh, see if he can come out and help. So we'll catch him when we get to the neighbor. Well, looks like the neighbor's not home here. Um, so I think we're just going to run up to the dealer and see. I heard they got some new used equipment up in here. So I figured we should go take a look in case we need to trade in like the 4960 for for a, new, for a new tillage tool, new tillage tractor, and some stuff like that. Uh, but I think we also have to get a uh, fuel filter for the 4020 because it's at its hourly mark. So um, I figured we should go up there and get that, and we'll catch you when we get to the dealer. Well, we're just now pulling on into the dealer here. It looks like they did get a whole bunch of new equipment here. Uh, we're going to go park the truck here and see who we can talk to to see... Um, see who we can see what we can get for some stuff so all right let's go let's go in and talk to the guy hey man how's it going oh we're doing pretty good here what you looking for here today um i was just taking a look here and seeing what all you got for used equipment but also i think you have a filter for that 4020 it's a fuel filter i believe i believe we do have some in stock yes okay i'm gonna need one of them and um is there anything you can tell me about i saw there's an 8300 out there i believe i think it was front wheel assist or anything how many hours does that thing have on it i think that one might i need i'll have to go look in the books in the back to check it out really quick but i can get that to you here in a minute Alrighty. uh you can just meet me out there i'm gonna go take a look at at that up there all right all right thank you well, we just talked to him, and um, we figured we should go look at this 8300 out here. I at least think that's an 8300. Yep, it is. Uh, this one's this one's very nice. I really like this 8300. Um, it looks like it'd be a good replacement for the 4960, just to have something a little newer, auto steer, all that stuff, you know. And I think this would be a very nice addition to the farm. Um, I don't I don't know, maybe. Uh, we got a 7220 here. We got a weird looking Brent brittle. Brettle fertilizer spreader. You got a Peterbilt T880. Pretty nice. Uh, looks like a Kinsey 3600 with bulk fill. Wilson Pace Setter. Demco Flatbed. AGI Auger. Looks like we got a Mac. Parker Grain Cart. Ooh. I might have to get this. 7520 could pull her just fine. And it could be a uh, replacement for the wagon. But technically I don't really need one right now. Um... But then we got two Kilbera wagons here, and we got another Kinsey 3600 that has um, liquid and bulk fill on it, which is which is pretty darn nice. Oh, looks like we need to talk to sales clerk here. Hey, how's it going? So, which one were you looking at here? Uh, it's this 8300 right here. The 8300. Yep. All right, that's what I thought. So I pulled up the books on it. It has 7,900 hours um, on the dot. Okay. Um, it comes with a 1,000 PTO. I don't. I didn't see in the books. I don't know if it's set up for GPS or not. Okay. I don't um, think it's set up for GPS. I don't think it has the receiver box or anything in it. 
And if you do want DPS, that's something you're going to have to add to it. I believe the listing price was $56,000 for it. Um, it only, I mean, it has $7,900, so it's quite a used tractor. I believe it's a, it was a two-owner tractor, uh, mainly used on arable farms, so it was just used for cultivation, planting, and all that stuff. Okay. Nothing too bad to the tractor. I mean, there are some spots on it that do have rust, I know. I know there's some rust back here in the pitch area. Um, but I believe in most overall, I mean, it's a clean tractor. I think it's been ran through maintenance at least a couple different times. Yeah. It's been here for a little while now, so um, I know it runs good. Okay, uh, you mind if I start it up? Yeah, I don't care. All right, let's see, get up here. Oh, uh, it looks like it's locked. Now, yeah, I think it's it'll locked be. right now. Yeah, it, I, it'll be fine. Um, so you want fifty six for it? I heard. Yeah, fifty six thousand. All right, I think I'm gonna take it. Um, I don't have the money right now for it, but I will be back more than likely uh, this afternoon. I got a whole bunch of planning to get done, um, some stuff like that. So, right. yeah, I, I'll and if, I'll if take you it. Want we can add in another um, deal here. We can add in another like. Three thousand dollars, and you can get yourself a kind of warranty deal. So you get a, like a free like two, one or two year um, kind of like a maintenance thing on it. So you can bring it into us, and we can fix it for free. Okay, um, that's not something too too bad. Either. Will you take a trade in on a forty nine sixty? I think it's a ninety two model that has three thousand hours on it, or the eighty three hundred. I think I will. Okay, but. Um, we're you're still gonna have to pay a little bit for the tractor, so we're probably gonna break it down to like thirty or twenty thousand. Alrighty, then I can pay that out of pocket today. Um, so, uh, how much paperwork was it? Is this thing gonna take? Um, not too much. I'm just gonna have to go fill out most of it, and then you're gonna have to come with me. You're gonna have to sign some stuff, and then we should be good. Alrighty, not well. Too much with it. Yep, I'll t I'll take her. All right. So. so we gotta go do the paperwork in here now. Um in my back office and then you should you should be good to go i don't you're probably gonna have to you're probably gonna have to do some paperwork with the 4642 is that what you said it was 46? uh 4960 4960 yep all right yeah well we should be able to i'll probably bring it down i think I'll, I'll look up some decent stuff on it and i'll give you a, how much it is for it i think let me let me check my computer here really quick Okay. All right. So I think we're gonna do about 28k for the tractor itself. Okay. That's. Does that sound good? Yep. That's pretty good. So uh. All right, so I will you go. Can sign here. Okay. Really quick. Okay. Sign right there and there, and you should be good to go with the tractor. I'll get the keys and stuff. Alrighty. Thank you, sir. Um. I, I think I'm just gonna drive it home. Um, All right. So yeah. Well, thank you very much, and I, I will bring in that 4960. Uh, I don't know if it'll be today. I got plenty to do today, but I will I will get it to you. All right. So, all righty. Well, thank you, sir. No problem. All righty. Okay. Yep, we'll see ya. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Could you get a new brand new 8300? Eh, it's not brand new by any means. It's got 7,900 hours on it, but it's... Oh, well, you know. It's pretty good. It'll work. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty nice. It's going to be It's gonna be replacing that 4960 I got. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I remember you saying that. So your truck's up there. Would you like me to uh, drive it back for you so you don't have to make two trips? Uh, yes, please. That would be that'd be very good. And if you could just flash behind me, that'd be great. Okay. All right. By the way, I just finished planning. I don't know if you've got extra ground. I know something about getting behind. I heard from another farmer. So if you need help, I'm fully here to come over and help you plant. So. Alrighty, I'll probably take you up on that offer. Um, if you okay. want, uh, I will. Haul, I can haul you back whenever we get done planting and to get your truck. Okay, that'll and, work perfectly. So it might be a little bit of a late night here, but uh, that's fine. I, ju I just got to get it all done. Gotcha. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get in your truck, and uh, we'll get your tractor home. Alrighty. Well, we'll see you here in a minute. All right. We'll see you. Well, we just got done talking to the neighbor here about our new tractor, and uh, we are on our way. Uh, we're gonna get on our way back to the farm here. He's supposedly gonna be flashing for me. And that's gonna be nice to him, and he's supposed to help me finish planting, which is great. Because, um, yeah, it'll, it'll be very nice. It's nice of him to, nice of him to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and put her in road gear here, speed her on up, 
and uh, I don't know how fast the road gear is, but I really like this tractor so far. Sounds really good. Uh, it's a pretty clean tractor, title-wise and uh, body-wise. Uh, it just has a little rust, you know. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get on back to the farm. And he's following us here, so we're going to go ahead and get to going. And we'll meet you back at the farm. Well, we are just now pulling on back into the farm here. Um, this, this 8300 has been driving very nice. I'm very happy with how it came out here. And I don't know where I'm going to park this thing. Um... I think we're just gonna park her right on over here. Uh, let's go ahead and get our hazards turned off and we'll get out and talk to our neighbor here. Phew, that was a long drive. Yeah, Clayton, it really was one long drive. But, you know, I've never been down here before. I've never been to your farm before. So, uh, would you mind giving me a little tour real fast? Yeah, so basically, we have the garage and the house over here. Um, okay. This house was, wasn't built too long ago. And gotcha. then we got the main shop over here, which has a 7520 and the 12 row planter and then the uh 9470 on back there and then some seed oh, wow. uh this door this door's kind of yeah right now it's got some stuff around it uh <laughs> we have the 4020 and then okay. we have the auger for the bin out there and then we have the 4960 in the dish setup this is the 4960 i'm talking about going bye bye that is that is a nice setup but that'll be a sad day yeah, I really love the 4960, but I want something a little newer. has some has some uh, new new systems on it, auto steer, all that stuff. You know, makes yeah, life that'll a be a nice easier. upgrade. So yeah, and then that's this that's this side of the farm here. Uh, we have two GSI GSI bins here, and then we have one Meridian liquid tank over here. Uh, we got an old okay. John Deere auger. Don't don't look at that. That one's a little old. <laughs> And then in here we have the 4760, which is going to be hauling the uh, these two Kilborough wagons over here uh, that are hooked up together. Well, that's quite a nice setup. And yeah, so that that's about it for setup here. And then all that we got left is just a 30-foot header for that combine in there. All righty. Well, I think you can give me a drive back to my place, and we can go to whatever field you want to go to and start planting. Yep, let me go uh, Let me go shut some boxes on the planter real quick, and I'll give you a ride. And that's the last one there. So now that we have the boxes closed, um, we're going to go ahead and give the neighbor a ride on down to his house. Alrighty, I got those uh, boxes closed, and I think we're ready to go now. I wish... Yeah, I think, I think we're good to go here. So All right, go ahead perfect. and hop in. Alright, there you go. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Is this the... No, that's not the 4230. 4650 running pretty good for you? Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, looking to upgrade eventually, but uh, not there yet. Yeah, yeah. Just money, you know? Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm basically broke after buying that 8300. I mean, it's a, <laughs> it's a great tractor, but, yeah. like, you know, I'm just about out of money, so... Yeah, I'll go ahead and lead you on down to the farm here, and then. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna fill up with some seed real fast, and then I'll meet you down there. All righty. Uh, you just want me to go ahead and head on down there? Yeah, that's fine. All righty. Well, I will. I'll go ahead and get my stuff folded up, and I'll meet you down there. All right. Thank you. Yep. See ya. Well, we just dropped the neighbor off here. Um. So he sounds like he's gonna come out and uh, help us finish planting what we have left to do here. And, uh, which is not much, um, about 100 acres. Hopefully we'll get it knocked out tonight if we run quite a bit of the night here. But it's, like I said, it's about 8 in the morning here this morning. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, head on out here, and we'll meet you back at the farm. Well, we made it back to the farm here. Uh, we're, I'm going to go ahead and get the 7520 folded up and wait for the neighbor to get here. So uh, we'll talk to you when the neighbor gets here. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Hey, um, so I'm figuring you go up there. There's two fields up there um, that okay. are not planted yet. I need those both in soybeans if you do that for me. And then yes, I have sir. some bottom ground down there that I'm going to go work on. And then there's a big field that me and you both can work on together. So, Okay, that'll work. Yep. All righty. Well, thank you, sir. All right. I'll check back in. All righty. We'll see you. All right. We'll see you. Well, we just talked to the neighbor. Uh, we need to go ahead and get on running down here to the field. And let's go ahead and turn on out here. Let's go ahead and get the hazards on. And we're going to go ahead and head on to this field. And then more than likely we'll put you on a time lapse. And, um, yes, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and hopefully get all of our fields planted for this year. Well, we just arrived here at the field. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started planting soybeans here. I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on a time lapse. We'll catch you here in a little bit.
just got done with this field. Um, I don't know how William's getting along. I probably better give him a call real quick, and we'll ask him here. Hey, hello? Yeah, yeah, hey, what's up? Uh, how are you getting along up there? Uh, I'm on the last field that you told me to go to, and uh, we're about finished, honestly. Okay, uh, I just finished my little bottom piece down here, and now I'm working on this big field here. And whenever you get done with that, you just better just, just let me know here. All right, yep, when I get done, I will go ahead and head that way. All righty, well, we'll catch you here in a minute. All right, we'll see you. Yep, see ya. Well, we just got off the phone with a neighbor here. Uh, we're getting the planner unfolded. Um, I think we're going to do most of this stuff off camera, and um, we will catch you when we get done. Well, we just got everything folded up here. Um, we're done. It's it's about 11 o'clock. And we are done planning for the season, which is great. And I think we're going to go over here and talk to William and see see how he got along here. Hey, man, how'd you get along? Oh, well, yeah, it went good. Um, long day, but uh, unfortunately, that's how, that's how planning goes. But glad to help you out. Yep, and thank you for that. Um, now, it kind of helps that everything's done now. So now I get a little time. I think oh, I'm gonna course. get the old dirt car out here in a few weeks and go go out to the racetrack out there, you know. Oh, that'd be real fun. Yeah, I spent. Yeah, I was I was I went down a rabbit hole on Facebook Marketplace, you know. <laughs> That'll happen. Yeah, I ended up buying a whole setup for my guy. So. Well, maybe I can come down there one day and uh, check it out. Yep. So, alrighty, we'll we'll talk to you later. Thank you again for helping. Yep, of course. We'll catch you later. Yep, we'll see ya. Well, I think that's going to do it for today's video. Um, thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this Tahitian series. And big shout out to William, William's Farm for um, for helping me and Mill Creek Farms and then Tristan Farms. They're all, they're all some good guys. You should all go check them out. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's video. And thank you all for watching and hopefully we'll see you in the next one.